If you have any experience of SI joint pain, which is kind of that uh, pain between the wings of the pelvis and the diamond shaped uh, bone at basically the lowest low back, uh, that place can be a little uncomfortable, especially if you have some hypermobility, uh, if you have some rotation in the pelvis. So this exercise, actually I'm going to show you three different exercises that are very similar uh, to create some movement around the pelvis, um, as well as building some strength and through that movement, some stability. First version is going to be block underneath one knee palms down towards the floor and you'll notice that I'm not sinking into this hip, I'm keeping it level. So already there's some work to stabilize the pelvis and keep it neutral. Moving slow, you are gonna let the hip sink and then pull it back in, All right? And that's the motion, relaxing and coming back through center, All right? And we're trying to avoid a big hip hike here, just coming back to that neutral pelvis. And so what you'll feel is the movement of the pelvis uh, with the femur, the leg bone, staying relatively still. Oftentimes when we bring some motion into the hip joints, it's from the femur moving in the pelvis rather than the pelvis initiating. So this is a great motion to add in because it might not be something you get all the time. All right, so you can do that on both sides. I usually do about 10 reps. Uh, you might also notice some sensation in the rib cage as the pelvis moves. Uh, I kind of feel some freedom being built up into the rib cage as well as the pelvis. There you go. So, eight, 10, 20 times, whatever works for you. Another variation is going to be the very same thing, uh, but having a higher elevation like the chair can just give you a bit more range to sink into. So you'll have to kind of land on the very edge of the chair, grabbing onto it, and then the same position of kind of a tabletop, and then sinking and drawing back through center. And again, it's not a huge hip hike, not necessarily that that's wrong, but trying to move in a pretty controlled manner and not overly engaging the front of the hip, the hip flexor, should really be feeling it uh, mostly in the standing legs, uh, hip joint to stabilize. All right, so again, you can do that a few times, uh, 10, 20 times on each side. Last one is gonna be utilizing a wall. You will place one foot up against the wall, feel the hamstring engage as you kick the heel into the wall, the opposite heel into the floor and then you'll create a hinge. All right, that alone might feel like some good work for you to stabilize the pelvis, sending both sits bones equally back at the same time, but it's the same motion, again, sinking and coming back through center. Sinking and then pushing down through the heel to come back. Now this one might feel um, a little bit more complex and might be trickier to find the engagement and the movement, but it's the same thing as those other exercises. So this can be a nice progression. There's also just a lot more load in this position uh, for the hip to work, and you just got more feedback with the wall to really push into that, push the standing leg into the floor. And again, the femur is staying fixed. The pelvis is moving. You should feel the standing leg's hip really doing a lot of the work. Give this a try.